For electric scooters in Hampton Roads, there's a growing risk for crashes and accidents. That's where Virginia has a problem. Our 13 News Now investigation finds there's no category for e-scooters on the state's crash report form. Plus, most cities lump scooter accidents into a generic other category. Investigative reporter Evan Watson shows us how the DMV is exploring changing its forms to respond to scooter popularity. Blink and you can miss them. Electric scooters are the new popular way to get around thanks to company contracts in Norfolk and Virginia Beach. I've been seeing them more and more and more and now it's you can't even drive somewhere without seeing at least a few people on the scooters. Zachary Wilcox says he expects scooters to only grow in popularity, but with that comes risk. Since partnering with Lime in June, Norfolk police report two accidents with injuries in the last month involving a scooter rider and a car. Virginia Beach Police report seven scooter or scooter-like vehicle crashes in 2017 and six in 2018, all with injuries or property damage. The city is still processing the number of crashes this year. Sam Day says on her ride downtown Norfolk, she constantly checked for traffic. As long as you're cautious, it's pretty safe, um, but definitely don't do anything reckless because it's easy. I think it's easy to make a quick mistake and you could get hurt. Local police departments consider all scooter riders as pedestrians. Scooter related accidents aren't actively tracked and any data relies on officers, including the words electric scooter in the crash summary. This is by design. There isn't a clear way to record scooter accidents across the state. Current Virginia DMV crash reports lump electric scooters into a catch-all other category that includes go-karts, dirt bikes, and hearses. Wilcox says that's just strange. It's no longer just, you know, an other type of transportation. It is, you know, a specific thing. It's not just as, you know, broad as everything else. Um, there's so many of them, and it's just like riding a bike. The DMV reports seven crashes involving electric scooter riders and motor vehicles in 2018, plus five crashes so far this year. These crashes were only reported to the state because they involved injuries and a police report. And once again, these numbers rely upon officers making a special note of electric scooter involvement. So we asked DMV if they could proactively track electric scooter crashes. A spokeswoman said the department is now considering adding electric scooters as a box that officers could check on the crash report, as scooters are an emerging issue, particularly in cities. I think it's important to be able to learn the statistics of it, particularly for the safety. Since they're so open and anybody can ride them, it can be pretty dangerous if somebody says, you know, get hit by like a truck or something like that. DMV officials say there's no timetable to change the crash report form but it would only take an internal decision to add electric scooters as a category to better track future accidents and crashes. Evan Watson for 13 News Now. Both Lime and Bird have their e-scooters out in Virginia Beach. We'll see how many other companies come along for the ride. A task force is working to create certain criteria to be licensed. Bird and Lime would not be grandfathered in. They'll have to apply and meet any changes to code.